Good day everyone, I'm Elvira T. Ruiz. And I am Vanessa F. Klimakosa, and we are both from Rosario National High School. We are, our action research is entitled, Utilizing Digital Game-Based Learning as Innovative Tool in Improving the Least Master Competencies in Science of Grade 10 Students of Rosario National High School. For context and rationale, in the study uh, conducted by Wu and Fesenten in 2017, suggested a technology-based type of serious games that lead to positive learning performance, the Digital Game-Based Learning, or DGBL, which its effectiveness and education potential have been confirmed in the research. DGBL is designed to reach a balance between gameplay and teaching and enable the players to apply their knowledge to a real environment. Thus, this study aims effectiveness of the game-based learning in improving the least mastery competencies in science of the grade 10 students. Our research questions are, number one, is there significant difference on the pretest of the treatment and control group? Number two, is there significant difference on the pretest and post-test of the treatment group after the integration of digi digital game-based learning? Number three, is there significant difference on the pretest and post-test of the control group after the traditional teaching? And last, is there a significant difference on the post-test of the treatment and control group? For our scope and limitation, so the study is limited to the number of participants, subject, and intervention used. The participants are only grade 10 students taking Science 10. The digital game-based learning is limited to four interventions, including digital board games, pick up Itapit, and Kahoot. For the intervention, the digital game-based learning for this study consists of four technology-based and game-based activities in line with the four least mastered competencies for the topic in second quarter in Science 10, including the digital board games, pick up Itapit and Kahoot. For the methodology, okay, the research design used was a quasi-experimental pretest post-test design. The participants were 60 grade 10 students. The instrument used was validated 30 item tests and the data were analyzed using paired t-test and one-way ANOVA. <clears throat> okay, for the findings on the research question number one, uh, we have used the treatment group which is a mean of 7.2300 and a standard deviation of 1.48630. For the control group, mean is 9.2600 and a standard deviation of 1.58635. For the research question number two, using ANOVA between groups, so, the significant difference is 0 0.070. For the research question number three, using paired sample test for the pre-test and the post-test, the t-value is 21.919 and the degree of freedom, which is 29, and a significant value of 0 0.000. For the research question number four, using another uh, paired sample test and the pre-test and post-test, the t-value is negative 17.642 and the degree of freedom, which is also 29, and a significant value of 0 0.032. For the research question number four, using ANOVA for the post-test between groups and within groups, the significant value is 0 0.000. For the research question number four, we have here a graph representing the result or the mean of the post-test between the treatment group and the control group. And based on the graph, the treatment group got a higher score compared with the control group. For the conclusion, in general, the findings suggest that the modification in the teaching learning process strategies and materials with the use of game-based learning in teaching science in treatment group highly affected and improved the least mastered competencies compared to control group who received the usual traditional approach of teaching science. This action research also showed that strategy and the use of game-based learning plays a very important role in the teaching learning process. It enhances the memory level of the students, can be used in innovation purposes, and makes the teaching 
learning process interesting and effective. Okay, so we have here our references. Thank you very much.